Okay, so how how do you think the feds are gonna move people off of uh two and three percent mortgages? They already did. I mean I mean when okay. Oh, you mean like the ones that already have it? Yeah, like let's say for example, like, oh I'm, you know, I buy a house, yeah, I'm yeah, locked the, in at two point seven five percent for yeah. fucking thirty years. How do you take me out of there and make me buy another house? I'm not gonna make you buy another house. You're gonna buy a whole bunch of other shit. You're gonna fall into debt. Mm. And then the only way you know, next thing you know, a cash out refi is the only way you know, the cash out refi will make sense because you got a car with, you know, maybe it's 16%. Um, well, part one, you got the house. So now you have a lot it's of an affordable, you, 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 an affordable house. So you, you, you feel like, Oh, I got some money to spend. Yeah, to spend. So you, you, you take on debt. You, you start, you start going on trips. You put that trips on the credit card. That credit card is charging you 25%. You, you do more trips. Now you, you're in $20,000 of debt in, because of trips. And now that's 25%. Ah, uh, you know what? I want to buy a new car too. Mm. You take on another debt, $500, $500 you know, $30,000 car. You know, and then what? You, now nah, I want to buy a motorcycle. Now I want to buy a boat. Next thing you know, you're in $100,000 worth of debt. And that's also at like average 12%. Mm. And so like, I see what you're saying. Hey, uh, we call you and say, like, Hey man, how you been? Yeah. Like what's going on with you? Like, uh, you know, I see you got a new car. I see you got a new boat. Mm. You know, we add you on Facebook. We see, we see what you're doing <laughs> and like, you know, Hey, just a quick question. How much are you spending a month on those stuff right now? They're like, uh, maybe about $3,500. Yeah. Like you can afford it. Cool. Like what if I can save you a thousand dollars a month? Mm. Like what? How? Like take the equity, pay for everything. Now your monthly mortgage is about twenty five hundred dollars instead of fifteen, mm -hmm. but you're paying, you know, all the other bills is like thirty five hundred. So you're they're, you're basically saying though they're going to offer you consolidation. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, but as human human we tendency, want we want things simple too. We want things right. We're going to be in debt, and it's just inevitable, mm -hmm. right? That's true. To offset that, refinance, and when when it makes sense because. What last month this guy house was owned free and clear. Yeah. But guess what he had? He had a boat, he had a motorcycle, five credit cards, and he took out two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Um on the loan? On a loan. On his house. Oh damn. Like a cash out? Yeah. To two fifty out. Monthly payment was sixteen grand. But he's paying thirty two. Damn. On that on everything else. So like, yeah, I'll I'll take that. Yeah. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, he'd go into debt on his house that he owned free and clear, which... So they just tack on a higher interest rate on that consolidation loan. So really, they're making more money in the back end long term, right? No. Going step back, because the average interest rate for all of the other debts, like consumer debts, mm -hmm. maybe like 12 to 15%. Okay. Right? But... On an in, you know, mortgage interest rate might be seven, might be six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That difference in interest rates is huge. Like dollar wise, mm -hmm. can can save you five, six, seven hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars a month. That's true. And because it's stretched out over thirty years, that's probably the real reason why the payment's so much lower is because it's stretched out over thirty years versus that credit card that wants you to pay. Right now, yeah, that's yeah. why the month that payments today, alive. yeah, yeah, like Amex, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's that's part of it too. But you know, you want to breathe, you want to be able to still live mm -hmm. and have that disposable income. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so vacation money, emergency expenses, bullshit. Yeah. So you're saying that we're gonna trick ourselves to come out of the two and threes, pretty much, because it's just inevitable that yep. humans are consumers. Yeah, that's especially. America in general, we are, we like to consume mm -hmm. and that's true. We want to have more stuff. We want to have nicer stuff, you yeah. know, all of that stuff. Um, our, our pop culture exposes us to all of the nice things, yeah. which, you know, we compare ourselves to the Joneses. So, oh, the Jones got this car. So we should get that car too. And that's true. What's up guys? Did you guys like that clip? I know you did. We work our asses off. Click this video right here. Just click it.
Dude, it's floating. Just click the clip. You good to turn the heat up. Y'all must have got amnesia. Forgot how to chew a beat up. Cooking up the track. I'm the baker just like Anita. Just that five star Michelin quality you can eat up. We at Sandy Lane, Ryan Barbado, smoking to get my chia. 